In this video, we're going to talk about mediums and in particular about the three mediums that we will use from now on linseed oil, poppy seed oil, and turpentine. Here, we're going to see what they are, some of the main features, what types we can find on the market, and a way to handle them easily. As we said, mediums are transparent fluids. Their job is to trap the pigment, stick it to the support, and then become solid. Let's talk to us first about the most common medium used in oil painting, the linseed oil. It's produced by pressing linseeds, which are also called flax seeds. According with the process that it has received, it may be uncolored or tending to yellow. It's not really resistant to the ultraviolet rays. When it gets exposed to the light for a long time, it tends to turn into yellow. This means that by using this medium, over the time the color will tend to be covered by a yellow layer, which gives to our painting an old photo effect. This can be a problem on light colors like cold white and light blue because the white will tend to yellow and the light blue will tend to cyan. As all the other oils, it's considered flammable, but not more dangerous of those that we use for cooking. The linseed oil used for painting has normally received some treatment. For example, the clarification, the boiling, and it can be mixed with metal salts. To clarify the linseed oil, they use different ways, some natural and some chemical. At the end of the process, some components of this oil will get removed, in particular those that make the oil more opaque and yellow, which are also responsible to make it weak to the ultraviolet rays. Clarified linseed oil is of course clearer, and a little bit more resistant to ultraviolet rays. The boiling process makes the linseed oil polymerization faster. It's carried out at very high temperature in complete absence of oxygen. At the end, the medium will change its chemical structure and it will become more viscous. During this process, sometimes they also add some metal salts as we said, they work as catalysts and they help speeding the polymerization up. Linseed oil has a quite long polymerization time, but it seems anyway shorter than the polymerization time of the poppy seed oil. The poppy seed oil is made by pressing poppy flower seeds. It's almost uncolored and it has a good resistance to the ultraviolet rays. It's particularly indicated with cold and light colors, but actually it works very well with all the other colors as well. As we already said, it has a quite long polymerization time. Also, this medium can be processed to make it clearer and more resistant to the ultraviolet rays. And it can also be mixed with metal salts to speed its polymerization up. Like the linseed oil, it's considered flammable, but not particularly dangerous. The last medium that we're going to use is the turpentine. It's made by distillation of natural raisins extracted with different technologies from trees, mostly pines. I personally only use it as brush washer because, in my opinion, if we use the turpentine as medium, the old color loses its natural glossy and becomes pretty matte. But you can use it as well as the other two mediums to thin oil colors down. In this case, better if you use the rectified turpentine instead of the normal one. The rectification as well as the clarification for the linseed and poppy seed oils, it's a process that removes all the impurities and makes the turpentine more suitable to be used in oil painting. Thinning our oil paints with turpentine will actually help to speed the polymerization up. There are other similar mediums on the market, 
such as, for example, the petroleum distillate. The standard turpentine is quite smelly. Fortunately, it's also possible to find it in odorless version. The turpentine is easy to evaporate, and its vapor are quite dangerous. First, because they are very flammable, and second, they are very unhealthy if inhaled. I recommend you to read and follow carefully the safety instruction that you will find on the bottle's label. Although it's possible to use linseed oil and poppy seed oil to make your own oil colors, as you will see in the video making oil colors, if you are not really expert, I suggest to you to do like me and use these two mediums only to thin down oil paints made by professional companies. When you buy these mediums, uh, they come in glass or plastic bottle like these. These are quite complicated to use, in fact, we will only use few drops per time, and it's really difficult to pour out the right amount using these bottles. My suggestion is to use dispenser bottles, possibly with dropper. I find very useful these plastic bottles that I recycle from contact lens liquids. If you use contact lens, or you know someone who does it, you may want to save these bottles and move the oil inside them. It's much easier to control the quantity of spilled oil by using them, but you can really use any kind of dispenser bottle. The important thing is that you give yourself the chance to control exactly the amount of medium that you want to pour down. You can choose to use only one of them, for example only the poppy seed oil. I like to use both of them, and in particular I only use the poppy seed oil with the white and the blue colors, mostly with the light tones, and the linseed oil with the rest of the colors. As a rule, you should use the poppy seed oil every time. You want to be sure that over the time the color will change as less as possible. And the linseed oil, in those cases where you actually don't mind if the color turns lightly into yellow. For example, in this painting I have only used poppy seed oil to preserve as much as possible the original blue color. In these other cases, I have used only linseed oil because I actually hope that over the time the color gets that natural yellow tone to help me to give the idea of the old photo. In other cases, like this one for example, I've used linseed oil for the warm colors and poppy seed oil for the tones of blue. And with these last examples, we have concluded our discussion on the mediums. If you enjoyed this video, we will really appreciate if you could click on like and subscribe to our channel. It will also help us very much if you could leave a comment. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next one.